This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Monday, June 21st, 2010. I'm Jeff Cummings. The Santa Clara International Grand Prix showed us once again who are going to be some of the top Americans to watch in August at the U.S. Nationals. Dana Vollmer, Nathan Adrian, Elizabeth Beisel, and Dagny Knutson each won two events in Santa Clara. Adrian put himself in the top 10 in the world in the 100 free with a 48.83 on Sunday, the ninth fastest time in the world. Vollmer's time of 57.73 in the 100 fly on Friday night put her third in the world, seven hundredths of a second behind the world leader Zhao Liu Yang of China and two hundredths behind Stephanie Rice. On the same night, Vollmer also won the 100 free with a 54.47, which is just off the 54.30 she swam in March that puts her third in the world. Beisel continues to cement herself as a contender in the 200 back and 400 IM, winning both of those events this weekend. And Dagny Knutson made a claim for Pam Pack berths in two months with wins in the 200 fly and 200 free. A lot of international swimmers from Australia and Canada won multiple events as well. Brian Johns of Canada took advantage of Michael Phelps' absence and Ryan Lochte's scratch to win the 200 IM as well as the 400 IM. Johns is going for his fourth Olympic Games appearance in 2012. Enrique Barbosa, a former NCAA champion for Cal and an Olympian for Brazil, won both breaststrokes over former collegiate competitor Mike Alexandrov. And 14-year-old Aussie Yolanda Kukla made the most of her first trip to the United States, beating a field of American Olympians and countrywoman Marika Guerrer in the women's 50 free with a 25-13. Also of note in that 50 free was the third place finish of 15-year-old Leah Neal of Asphalt Green in New York. Neil, who qualified for the 2008 Olympic trials, swam a 25.51, which is one hundredth of a second off the national age group record, set in 2000 by Christina Swindle. Neil has some competition for this record as Missy Franklin is also 15 years old and a sure bet to chase this record in the next couple of years. Federica Pellegrini was the star of the SETI Coli Trophy meet in Italy over the weekend. Pellegrini continues to submit her status as the fastest middle distance in the world with a 4.03.12 in the 400 free. Pellegrini did not race the 200 free, but put up an 8.28 in the 800 free, about a second slower than she has swum this year. Therese Alzheimer also posted a world leading time with a 24.27 in the 50 free. She's now about a tenth ahead of the Netherlands' Renomi Chroma Wijojo. Other great swims in Italy included a victory by Eamon Sullivan in the 50 free. Sullivan held off Josh Schneider by a tenth to win in 22.09. Schneider's 22-21 puts him 12th in the world and number one among Americans. Only 11 people in the world have broken the two-minute barrier in the men's 200 IM this year, and Laszlo Che has now done it twice. In Italy, Che swam a 159-14, though he was a little bit faster in the Mari Nostrum series with a 159-01. Recently, Milorad Kavik announced he was contemplating if he would swim in the European Championships this summer or undergo back surgery. Apparently, the scales are tipped in favor of swimming as he won the 100 fly in Italy with a so-so time of 52.53. You can read more about the Santa Clara International and the SETI Coley Trophy meet on SwimmingWorld.com. The World Cup may be the most popular sporting event in the world, but even in England, soccer, or football as they call it, is not the most popular sport. A new study shows that 3.2 million people in England are regular swimmers, compared to the 2 million people who play football on a consistent basis. The active people survey showed that these 3.2 million people swim for at least a half an hour at least once a week. These are very interesting findings two years out from the London Olympics, where football will not be a medal sport. And that's the news for today. We'll see you next time.